Let's be frank. I've changed my mind about Fallout 76. For those of you who watched my previous video, you would know that at the time I didn't share the same hateful opinions as others. But now, that has changed and I can finally understand that this game is below Bethesda's usual standards. By too much. I have ignored all the mistakes outside the game itself that Bethesda has made, such as the Power Armor Edition Duffel Kerfuffle and the user information leaks. Just to name a few, I will only be focusing on what exactly changed my opinion and various other things that have put me off this game. As you may have noticed, I hadn't finished the main game in my initial review and was doing a side quest to gain some levels and loot. Last week on Monday at 6.23pm, I launched a nuclear missile, ending my experience with the main campaign and yielding me the infamously bugged Gatling Plasma. A few hours after this I thought, okay what now? I had finished the only quests worth doing and finished the main story. In literally every other Fallout game created, I believe the most fun can be had once you've finished the story. In Fallout 76, the game pretty much ends. I haven't even hit level 50 and I struggled to stay awake just capturing footage for this. I'd go as far to say the game has become a wasteland. Luckily, I thoroughly enjoyed the main quest line so much that it blocked the truth from my eyes. If you don't like this game's main story, there really isn't anything here for you. In my previous video I said Fallout 76 has an acquired taste, which has never been an issue in Bethesda games because of mod support. If you didn't like the weapon sandbox in Fallout 4, you could always install a bunch of mods to improve your experience. Sadly, there isn't mod support in Fallout 76 yet, so the community can't fix the game's glaring issues and make it more enjoyable. The developers definitely tried to give us a great game, but deadlines and terrible business decisions completely destroyed what they were trying to achieve. For those who disagree, I'm going to ask you to do something. Go back and play Fallout 4. By the time you reach level 9, the level of polish and time put into the game is obvious and it really highlights the problems Don't in Fallout so 76. Forget you, pal. Mind your manners. This isn't just some shack I'm painting. Uh -huh. Thinking you need a little education. As you can see from this small clip, there is always multiple stories to uncover and actual moral dilemmas with real-world applications. I'm on it. Much obliged. Fallout 76 has none of this, even in the main story which is the only real reason to play the game. Fans have been asking for multiplayer in Fallout for years, and it could have had so much potential if it was executed correctly. I believe Bethesda really should start working on a new game engine and instead of having players always present in the world, take a page out of Ubisoft's book. Make it so the game is still single player, but you can invite a few of your friends for cooperative play. Ubisoft did this in Far Cry 5 and it worked really well. The game still remained single player and offline, for the most part, whilst still being immersive, which is especially important in the Fallout world. There aren't that many cool things to find in this game either. The only interesting thing I found was the crashed alien spaceship in the top of the map. But there was no story there at all to uncover and barely any loot. Like I said, the only cool thing to find in this game is the campaign. But of course that is subjective. Instead of spending $100 on an unfinished title, I would recommend buying the Fallout 4 Game of the Year edition. It is only $80 and contains all the game's DLC content. Each DLC has about 15 hours of content, apart from Far Harbor and Nuka World, which have 40 plus. Even if you get bored, there are a large variety of free mods to install which can completely change the genre of the game if you dig deep enough. Just look at how many days I've accumulated in Fallout 4, which goes up every week. I'm pretty much done now, so I'm going to talk about my channel. I'm planning on doing another review type video, but I want to take a break from Fallout. I'm thinking of reviewing a game from my childhood, so leave your suggestions in the comments down below. I was thinking Minecraft or Terraria, because they're pretty overlooked games in the industry. Subscribe for more videos that get to the point.